What's up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Motor Talk with Chris, WCAR 98.3.com FM, Automotive Talk Radio. All right, first things first, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and take the time out, hit that subscribe button. In addition to that, hit that notification bell. Just share my videos as well as like my videos. Listen, if you got questions you want to ask me about anything pertaining to cars, uh, I've been working on cars for 21 years, flipping cars. There isn't nothing that's a car issue that you're having with a car that I, in fact, won't know about. So if you feel like you got an issue with your car, you wouldn't talk to a mechanic, you kind of don't trust what he or she has to say, all you got to do, reach out, motortalkwithchris, gmail.com, or go ahead and leave your comment under the video. All right. So I want to talk about hybrid batteries right now. I want to talk about hybrid batteries. And the reason why I want to talk about hybrid batteries is because what we are noticing in the automotive industry right now, of course, is we are constantly, we are gradually, excuse me, gravitating towards electric and hybrid cars, gasoline cars, thing of the past, even diesel engines, the torque that takes a diesel engine um, that, that diesel engines have to move 18 wheelers. We're seeing those. We are seeing um, prototypes of electric engines for 18 wheelers. So. I'm going to talk to you guys th today um, on this edition of Motor Talk with Chris. I want to talk to you about the possibilities of changing the batteries, the batteries. A big issue with uh, electric cars, the big issue with hybrid cars is people just don't trust the batteries. Um, I own a, 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 um, a Toyota Prius. I've changed the battery. I changed the battery at uh, 240,000 miles. I brought the car, I had 170. I don't know when the battery would change or if it had been changed prior to that. It's been known that batteries normally go bad about 100,000 miles. Honestly, I don't believe this. Uh, if in fact the battery does go at 100,000 miles, I believe that before it gets around there, I believe that you should take it to someone that deals with hybrid batteries, have them tr change the computer chip inside that battery. I believe that the dealership has a chip in the battery that causes it to go about 100,000 miles. Because listen, if you live in Florida, batteries act different. If you live in, a, in let's say, the northern part of the northeast United States where it gets cold, batteries act different. There is no magical uh, uh, situation that once a car hit 100,000 miles, it's going to make the battery go bad. I don't believe that. So what you got to understand about hybrid car batteries, they uh, hybrid batteries, they do have chips. You can change the chip in the battery. You can call a company that sells batteries and say, hey, listen, think you could change the chip in the battery so it don't go. I believe that. All right. But nonetheless, there are different types of car batteries when it comes to replacing a uh, hybrid or electric car batteries. A car such as a Tesla is a different animal than, let's say, a Toyota Prius. In a Toyota Prius, the battery is behind the seat. You can take the seat out, change the battery, which is the length of the seat. Um, not that real difficult to change. However, that's a big uh, 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 difference. It's a big difference when you have a Tesla with electric batteries. In a Tesla, the whole bed of the car are batteries. So that's a different animal to change. So let's just say you buy, you out looking for an all electric car, such as a Nissan Leaf or Tesla, which is currently on the market now, or you're trying to buy something which is a hybrid, which is a Ford Fusion, which is a, um, a Kia Optima hybrid, or uh, a Toyota Prius. Okay. So when you, when you're out looking for a hybrid battery, um, hybrid batteries are not going to cost nowhere near as much as an all electric battery. Okay. So, uh, I had my battery changed in my Toyota Prius. It cost me, uh, 1600 and some change, 1700 bucks. I'm sorry. It cost me 1500 and some change, 1600 bucks. Okay. I did get a five year warranty with that, um, uh, with that battery. So I'm on the clock. I got five years where I don't have to worry about the battery. Um, and my, uh, Kia, um, I'm sorry, my Toyota Prius people, that's a, an entirely different animal when it comes to, let's say a Tesla. So I just told you that I paid $1,600, uh, for the battery in my 2007 Toyota Prius. So I'm going to right quick look at some prices on 
how much would it be for a Tesla? So I'm looking at the Tesla right now. I'm looking at the Tesla uh, Model S. And of course, as I stated, this battery is the entire bed of the car. Um, it says uh, alongside the updated of the Alpha uh, Tesla uh, and seven seat sedan, outfitted the Model S and rollout plans for 2012 that they expected would pay 160, 230, 300 mile range. Uh, okay, the price. Okay, so wow, they're saying in this uh, the battery for. I'm on green. Uh, carreports.com and let's see if we get the price for the battery for a Tesla uh, model uh, model S <sighs> okay still I don't see a price let's go um, okay here it is so you can pay anywhere up to $6,000, $6,000 to replace a battery in a Tesla uh, Model S. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. So how do you, how do you go shopping when, you, when you're in the market to buy an electric car if, in fact, you're not buying a new one? Warranty, okay. Warranty, people. I'm gonna just. I'm, I'm gonna tell you how I shop for cars. I don't care how much a person is selling a car for. I don't care how uh, 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 confident that salesman is. If you're not getting giving me a warranty for my the product, I'm not buying it. If in fact, when it comes to a gas engine, I believe that three uh three months, uh, three thousand mile warranty is sufficient. However, those are an entirely different set of rules when you're buying an electric car or you're buying a hybrid. Reason being, that car will last a little bit beyond three months. And when, in fact, you do have to deal with that battery, it can really make or break a lot of people. A lot of people really don't have $6,000 laying around to replace a battery in uh, in their car. So trying to get a get one with a warranty if you go back to a tesla dealer that may have a used uh models and any of their models used and you can go ahead and get a warranty a dealership warranty that covers the battery um i'll do a separate video on warranties and see if in fact that a lot of batteries do cover um hybrid batteries or electric batteries but you, it, it just just in general you want to be careful when you're buying a used car. If in fact you got the money to buy new, great for you. If in fact you got them, you can only afford a used one. What you want to do when you're buying a battery, try to find out if in fact the battery has been replaced already. Okay, you can tell if the battery has been replaced already by finding out through the seller. Um, if in fact you know the seller, if you're buying the car from a, a private owner, ask them, hey, listen, has the battery been changed? If they say the battery hasn't been changed, be careful. If in fact you go and you purchase a vehicle, electric or hybrid, with the engine light on, okay? If you purchase a hybrid or an electric vehicle with the engine light on, that is a big no-no because that could be an indication that in fact the battery's are going bad the batteries need to be replaced okay so if in fact you buy a car at a dealer i re recommend this if you buy a used electric or hybrid vehicle buy it from a reputable dealer and the reason why you want to buy it from a reputable dealer is because because when you buy from a reputable dealer that dealer is going to back their product if you go down the street and you see okie doke auto sales and you see them they have a tesla or a hybrid vehicle you can best believe they're not going to back any of their products, okay? They're not. They're out to make a quick buck. They're not going to uh, uh, back the vehicle beyond the sale, okay? They're not going to do that. Okay, if you buy from a dealer or if you buy a vehicle, uh, a hybrid or a electric vehicle from, let's say, Okie Dokie Auto Sales, and in, fact they do, and in fact, they do have warranties that you can purchase, find out before you purchase that vehicle 
if in fact the warranty covers the batteries. You want to find out if that warranty covers the batteries. If that warranty covers the batteries, you got yourself a thumbs up. If it doesn't, I would suggest you find somewhere that it does. Appreciate you guys for watching. Remember, y'all, subscribe if, in fact, you're not subscribed to the channel. If, in fact, you have questions, please ask those questions. Put those questions under the video, or you could email me at motortalkwithchris at gmail.com. That's motortalkwithchris at gmail.com. I want to thank you guys for checking me out for this edition of Motor Talk with Chris, WCAR 98.3.com FM, Automotive Talk Radio. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later, y'all.